all kind of the corporations and your understandings. I would like to share a nice experience, which we have, as I told you, that university have attained a level of maturity. So basically, we have seen there is a fine engagement of the student. The last semester, we have a 90% plus attainment of the students, which is very surprising. We can share with you more than 200 uh, students' feedbacks and experience, and which is very uh, kind of the matter of satisfaction for the universities. And with these satisfactions, we look forward and we are sure that we will meet your expectations with your kind cooperation. So uh, you have to minutely see the directions of the universities. Gradually, you have to connect with us. Soon, we will see that we will announce our mentor and mentee schemes. Your mentor will be allocated. You will be quite in touch with your head of department, with your teachers, with your mentor. And with all buddies and and any 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 with any call you will find that we are with you and uh, uh, we will definitely meet your expectation that that's that's my uh, firm belief my uh, another request to all of you is uh, that you should keep uh, watching the various announcement which university is going to do you we will definitely uh, there are n number of missions through which we will keep you updating and informing you. But at the same time, you also be keep vigilant what actually university is trying to convey you and the way whenever we are calling you and uh, we are making you ready, you should accept it. And for that reason, you know that we have exhaustive orientations program and schedule has been done so that we can bring you a comfort level and then we can breeze you with the real uh, learning and teaching with your exact uh, syllabus and other things. And you will find that we have a multiple level of the communication way. Our whole team is working and trying to make your life easier. Uh, you will see that we have assessment plan and other things. So basic idea is that uh, the orientation program, which we have scheduled you next 15 days, you should not miss at any time. We have chosen very fine kind of the experts throughout the India and, and uh, from abroad as well who can enrich your experience, who can share their insights and who can make you ready for the next uh, journey of your life. So my humble submission to all of you is that you take this orientation schedule very seriously and engage yourself meaningfully. Today, uh, Dr. Kamal Kasyap is going to brief you uh, academic briefings. You will find that your dean, various deans will also address you. Your head of department is going to address you. Control of examinations will also uh, brief you. We have supplied you a welcome kit also where a student book a handbook has been drafted. And uh, you have, we have tried to brief you all the rules and regulations and the charters and uh, the various functionality of the universities. In the same way, you will find that your department is keep communicating you and are in close touch with you so that uh, there should not be any communication gap because we understand that still you have not reached to the campus and then also we are looking forward. So that's a very important point uh, you have to keep uh, 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 in your mind. The last but uh, very important that you must not miss any expert lectures. This, this takes a lot of efforts by the university. You have seen that uh, yesterday Sup Anand had joined. Tomorrow SBI uh, foundation chairman Nixon Joseph is joining us. He is a very renowned personality and uh, he is joining us from Bombay uh, to talk to our student. And there are, we have a series of gurus uh, from India and uh, from uh, abroad also who will come and before you and talk to you. So this is a golden opportunity for all of you and I believe you will understand and uh, you will get benefited this thing. I would like to convey my uh, uh, regards to your parents and we are, uh, you must convey my strong uh, gratefulness from the universities that you have chosen these universities and you have shown your confidence in us and we assure you that we will meet your expectations and we will make you true professionals. You will feel that every day there is a transformation is happening and by the time we will pass out, I am sure that you will pass out with the flying colors in one hand degree and another hand employment. With these words, I wish you again good luck. And you will find that again and again I am before you. 
and my whole team my whole dean and other things are in close touch with you and trying to you very comfortable so thank you in these words and look forward to all of you thank you so much sir for your guidance apg shimla university here nature nurtures young minds there is something for everyone apg shimla university is located on the outskirts of shimla city on a hill top the peaceful green environment away from noise and pollution of mid city environment make it idle learning center it's a mini township on its own with all facilities within the campus we offer a wide variety of courses ranging from engineering information technology management media commerce law hospitality and management architecture and planning and fashion designing apg shimla university at its right at queen of hills shimla shimla is the former uh, summer capital of british india and the present capital of himachal pradesh it is blessed with the nat natural beauty of himalayas it is surrounded by the green hills and snow capped mountains there are several historical buildings constructed during the british era which give the town a different importance from other hill stations shimla is ideally located as it is connected through air services and the unesco world heritage rail line made in 1903 however it is best reached by road that take in charm of the mountains yes we make it happen here you will join an outstanding community of students from all over the world who come together under an umbrella we have adopted modern teaching methods without discarding value of traditional learning approaches you can be assured that you will receive education qualification that are of international standard and recognition these qualifications are transferable and recognized by the other universities also across our broad range of innovative and challenging courses you will use the latest technology and have access to reach by the most brilliant minds from across the world so to highlight more about apg shimla university and to make you know about the achievements courses departments and lab of labs of apg shimla university i would like to call dr kamal kashyap who is head of Mechani mechanical engineering department to carry forward the session dr kamal kashyap you may go ahead now uh, thank you dr anjali uh, honorable vice chancellor uh, dr ramesh kumar choudhry uh, our controller of examinations jyotsna ma'am uh, dean engineering dr anand mohan and our dean student welfare dr uh, sunil kumar thank you for giving me this opportunity and uh, here i am in front of you to tell you the different departments and different schools of ap goel shimla university good morning students and welcome from apg shimla university where nature nurtures young minds so here we have our inspirations and strength driving forces honorable chancellor dr rajat mathur honorable vice chancellor of our university dr rumesh kumar choudhry here we have our guiding lights dr kaistha is our registrar our dean academics dr kuldeep kumar dean school of journalism and mass communication dr ramesh johan our dean management dr neel dean engineering dr anand mohan and our dean student welfare dr sunil we are located in shimla and are spread across 
44 acres of lavish land. We are established under Section 2F of UGC Act 1956, while HP Government Act 20 of 2013. We are the only private university of District Shimla. We have students, more than 2,000 students across the globe 20, from 29 states of India and 28 nations. We are providing direct employment to 300 plus families and indirect employment to more than 1,000 families. We are associated with Unnat Bharat Abhyan of India. We have an NCC unit and further for better understanding in academics and better learning experiences for the students, we are again associated with Swayam and NAPTEL. So let's discuss about the different schools at AP Goyal Shimla University, School of Architecture and Planning, School of Art and Humanities, School of Design, School of Engineering and Technology, School of Hospitality and Tourism Management, School of Journalism and Mass Communication, School of Legal Studies and Research, School of Management and School of Sciences. These, we have nine schools at AP Goyal Shimla University. Further, I'm going to discuss about all the schools and all the courses that these schools offer. So let's start from the School of Engineering and Technology. And being as a uh, mechanical side, uh, we will start from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. We offer three courses in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. That is BTEC in Mechanical, MTEC, and PhD in Mechanical Engineering. So uh, here are the guiding lines of the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Kamal, that's me, the Shant, uh, Tanva, Mr. Pankaj, Mr. Shiv. We have the different labs in the department so that the students can learn in a practical manner. We have refrigeration and air conditioning lab. We have fluid mechanics lab. We have machine workshop, heat transfer lab, automobile lab, and we always want our students to be uh, research-oriented studies and project-oriented studies. That's why we have project lab, dynamics of machine and strength of materials lab. We always focus on the overall development of the students. That's why we always organize activities in the departmental level as well as on the university level. These are some of the activities that we are showing on our department level. Here we have technical speaking, Seminar on Renewable Energy, which is the upcoming field in the Department of Mechanical. We have conferences, industrial visits, which plays a vibrant role on the overall development of the students. So we organize it on a regular manner. This is the workshop of CNC seminars on entrepreneurship development, because further these engineers are going to be entrepreneurs and all, what you say, the motivators of the country. That's why we organize the kind of seminars to boost them up to, for the better and uh, understanding that how to become the entrepreneurs. This is the club inauguration by the department and the seminar on green energy. We always focused on uh, projects. So these are some projects which actually impacts the society. Fabrication of four wheel drives, smart sensor four wheel drives, fabrication of I mean, pneumatic trains, center axis rotating vehicles. So these are all the projects that have already been done by the Department of Mechanical Engineering. And further, we are doing much more for the better understanding and learning of our students. There is again, research uh, plays an important role in the advancement of any department. From the Department of Mechanical Engineering, we have good amount of publications. You can see that in SCI, we have 11 scopus. We have five. In UGC approved, we have four international conferences. We have three. And in national conferences, we have one. We have so filed some patents in, from the Department of Mechanical Engineering and the total amount is three. From computer sciences, because computers is the upcoming field of the era. 
and artificial intelligence again plays a vibrant role in computer learning. So let me play a video for the better understanding what artificial intelligence is and uh, how it's going to be taken further. Thank you. And uh, let's play the video first. <laughs> video you can better understand what artificial intelligence is and what is this and this is actually the upcoming field in the era of 2020 so okay these are the different courses which are actually offered by the department of computer sciences we have computer technology in artificial intelligence in data sciences we have btech we have iot we have btech in computer sciences we offer MTech in computer science and engineering, masters in computer applications, bachelors in computer applications, and BSc in cyber security. So we have Dr. Arun Kumar Chaudhary as the department HOD, and these are all the driving courses of the department. Mr. Mukesh Kamaksha, Ms. Kamaksha, Ms. Neha, Ms. Ruchika, Mr. Aman, Mr. Anuj, Ms. Varsha, and Mr. Brihan Khan. These are all the labs of the department. We have advanced computing lab, internet and web design lab, programming lab, language lab and design lab. These are some of the activities of the department of computer department. Group discussions, we always have. We have cleanness uh, drives, we have conferences, posters making, freshers party, fashion show, industrial visits, and further the last images of industrial visit. So what are the career opportunities for the students of Department of Mechanical Engineering, uh, sorry, pardon me, for computer sciences, we have software engineering programmer, a person can go for networks administrator, a person can go to a database administrator for software teaser and system analyst, system designer. These are different career opportunities, some of the career opportunities from computer sciences. Again, we have a good amount of research in the Department of Computer Engineering. The publications are all here. We have, again, different placement partners for the Computer Sciences Department. We are associated with Microsoft, Google, Oracle, Amazon, IBM, SAP, Infosys, HCL. We have all the big brands, which are the placement part partners for AP Gold Shimla University. From the Department of Electrical Engineering, we offer BTEC, MTech, and PhD, Dr. Anjali, she's the head of the department, Mr. Gopal, Mr. Naveen, Mr. Arun, Ms. Anupama, and Mr. Vikas. These are all the driving forces for the Department of Electrical Engineering. So let's see what is the importance and where the electricity is there in our daily lives. So from this diagram, you can actually see that electricity is everywhere uh, associated with our daily lives. And what are the career opportunities for the Department of Electrical Engineering. We have field jobs, we have research jobs, and we have management jobs. For field jobs, we are having private sector. In public sector, you can again go through the Department of Electrical Engineering. In government sector, you can again go from the Department of Electrical Engineering. For research, you can further go for your PhD and for your master's. You can do a scientist in ISRO, BARC, and DRDO. Management, you can further go for MBA courses, PG diploma courses, and training institutes. These are the key USPs for the of the Department of Mechanical Engineering. We offer different guest lectures and industrial visits. We focus on research papers, and uh, we always focus for research-oriented studies in every department. And these are the further, which are the USPs for the Department of Electrical Engineering. Electrical Engineering Research Areas. If somebody wants to go further for their master courses from the Department of Electrical, these are the different research areas from the Department of Electrical Engineering. Electrical Load and Forecasting Load Analysis. 
these are solar radiations renewable energy it's the upcoming field and vlsi and smart grids and iot these are some of the research areas from the department of electrical engineering in which you can go further and do your masters as well you can do your research work for your phd so these are the labs from the department of electrical engineering we have basic electricity lab current circuit theory lab electrical machine lab power systems lab electrical measurement lab and power electronics lab these are the events and industrial visits which are being done by the department of electrical engineering ict programming courses skill development courses and below we can see the different industrial visits that has been done by the department of electrical engineering again the research activities that have been taken in the department of electrical these are the research areas and the research papers now let's go further for civil engineering department we offer btech in civil engineering and mtech courses in transportation and structural engineering in our civil engineering we have mr bhatesh who is serving as an hod in the department of civil ms neamat mrs nandini mr ajay ms amreen these are the different labs for the department of civil engineering fluid machinery lab our strength of materials lab concrete lab surveying lab and structural lab you students uh, you will be further doing work on all these labs when you will be coming to the campus and uh, these are the overview of the civil engineering department the course curriculum of civil engineering department is based on learning outcomes excellent academic and placement activities promoting practical learning and research oriented studies for our students provision of regular internship of students well qualified teaching and non teaching faculty strong mentor mentee system guidance for students for preparing for competitive competitive and gate examination forced for more project completion and another kind of skills these are industrial tips which are being done on regular basis these are the some research publications by the department of civil engineering now we are going further for the department of architecture so the question arises why architecture this is a mixture of creative creative freedom personal expression and technical awareness you have a flexible amount and uh, various kind of things that you can further do from architecture or in the field of architecture one can see his her creative vision and you actually sees a logis in a logistic way when you enters in the department of architecture so these are the labs for the department of our architecture these are the expert lectures which have been done by the department of architecture and these are the industrial visits from the department of architecture these are the thesis work from the department now let's move on to the next school and the next school is the school of applied sciences so this is all about the school it was established in 2012 and uh, most of the students uh, from the physics chemistry and non medical background these are being a part of this school and uh, the part of the uh, sorry the department is doing an excellent work in projects and in research area these are the courses that's being offered by the department we have msc in chemistry mathematics and environmental sciences bsc physics chemistry mathematics phd in chemistry and phd in physics why to pursue your career in applied sciences this helps to understand the world around you perform open and experiments reports the results helps to understand the current events like petroleum pollution and environment you will get the theoretical analysis part in applied sciences these are the highlights of the department as i always say our departments are always research oriented and focus on the projects so the 
first highlight is project work and research work for undergraduate and postgraduate students. All the faculties are net set qualified. We always prepare our students for the next step in their lives. So we always want our students to prepare for gates, net or set and affordable career opportunities. These are uh, the job opportunities from the chemistry department, analyst in chemistry, fine and heavy chemical manufacturing industry, food and beverages production, mining and metallurgy, petroleum industry, etc. For a physicist, these are all the kind of life opportunities that you have. For a mathematician, he can further go for business analytics and information technology computing. So these are all the fields in which a person who has done his master's or his bachelor's in mathematics, he can go further. And we, again, from the Department of Applied Sciences, we offer forensic sciences, bachelor's and biotechnology. So let's play a video for better understanding of forensic sciences. <laughs> From this video, you can better understand what forensic sciences is and uh, what are the different opportunities in the forensic sciences. Uh, and uh, in the video, as well as which is mentioned over here, you can analyze the crime scenes. You can take photographs of crime scenes. So this is again the upcoming field in uh, from the Department of Applied Sciences. These are the co uh, career opportunities from forensic sciences. And about biotech department, biotechnology is integrated, used for biochemistry, microbiology and engineering sciences in order to achieve technological applications of the capabilities of microorganisms and cultural cells. This is uh, a small brief about the biotechnology department of our AP Goel Shimla University. And these are the career opportunities for the biotechnologist. He can further pursue his career in medicine, in agriculture as a nutritionist, and biofuels in alcohol production and in strength fibers. So let's move on to the Department of Management, or we can say the School of Management and Commerce. So management and commerce of AP Goel Shimla University is providing quality education in management from the last seven years to over 900 students. So these are the amount of students who already passed out. And uh, we have FDP on regular basis. We focus on seminars, on conferences, and quality teaching in the School of Management also. So these are the pillars of the Department of Management. Dr. Kuldeep Kumar is again our Dean Academics. He has specialization in finance and accounting. Dr. Neil is the Dean of Management and Sciences. He is um, specialization in international accounting. Ms. Tuti Pandit, she is specialized in human resources. Mr. Amit Sharma is specialized in marketing and entrepreneurship. And Ms. Pariksha, she is from human resources background. So these are the some courses, these are the courses which are being offered by the Department of Management. We offer MBA in HR, marketing, IB, IT, and finance. MBA in industrial integrated with global exposure. We again offer PhD in management. These are the bachelor courses which are being offered by the Department of Management. We have BBA analytics for which is of three years. We have BBA and the tenure is again three years. BCom honors three years and BCom in ACA three years. We have placement partners like Tommy Hilfiger, Tech Mahindra, JCB, Ozone, which are being associated with the Department of Management. These are the testimonials which are being 
written by the pass out student of the department of management uh, from danish this is the testimonial of our student shine which is the pass out in 2010 18 this is the testimonial from her these are again the industrial visits and another activities from the department of management these are the industrial visits again and these are the research areas which actually can be done in the department of management impact of television and advancing these are some of the research areas please uh, you could just go through it now the next department of the school is hospitality and tourism for better understanding let's play the video first so this was a brief video for the department of hospitality and tourism management this is all about the school these are courses that being offered by the department bachelors of hotel management that is a four year course diploma in housekeeping and diploma is front office the usps of our department of hospitality is 100 place 100% placements on the last 7 years you have already seen that in the videos overseas overseas internship and placements we have well qualified students and well qualified teachers we have annual food fest and we have are associated with different different agencies these are the job opportunities you can go in tourism in hotel industry you can again go to the yachts or ships and uh, as a flying agent people you can again do work from the department of hm these are some of the prizes and the achievements of the department and from the last 7 years as in the video we are placing 100% of our students from the department of hospitality and tourism management these are the some of the international placements from the department one of our student is doing work in dubai and another one is again doing work in a good hospitality industry in dubai from the media and mass communication department or school we offer bjmc and mjmc this is the introductory video of the school let's go ahead <laughs>
So about the school, uh, from the School of Media and Mass Communication, it was established in year 2013 and uh, offering three courses, BA in journalism, MA in journalism and mass communication and PhD in journalism. These are some of the activity activities from the department. We always organized Moisa, which is was further, uh, it was firstly organized in 2015, further organized in 2018. And these, uh, again, we have uh, MOU with the Stardom Academy of Bollywood. And this is the last one is the photography workshop, which is being done by the department. These are some of the gimbals inside the studio. So what are the employment opportunities from the department? A person who has completed his bachelor's or master's from the department of uh, the of journalism, he can go further in as a TV anchor or as a radio jockey. He can do work in print or in electronic media. He can again do work as a public relation officer. He can do work in media authorities. He can be a good writer and do work or uh, he can do a social media work like Facebook, Twitter or blogs, etc. He can do work in uh, radio, he can do work in UGC projects, he can go further for his studies and do as work uh, for JRF or as a SRF. The different play students we have in this slide, we have uh, placements in UP Tuk, in National Geographic, in Himachal Dastak and in Deve Himachal. Now let's move on to the School of Legal Studies and Research, we offer BA, LLB, LLB, and LLM. So what is the objective of the school to provide the rich heritage of legal thought and traditional and to contribute to the national development by including a sense of responsibility among the students and cultivating them and the spirit of intellectual freedom, qualities of leadership, imaginative power and clarity. We offer different courses from the department. We offer LLM, that is a two year course, LLB, that is a three year course, BLLB, that is a five year course. It is an integrated course and PhD. Our USPs, you can go through the USPs of the department in this slide. These are the career opportunities from the department. A person can go for teaching. He can go for higher studies. He can do works in a NGO or a research oriented projects. He can be a legal advisor. He can go for government services also. These are the placements which being done by the department. Some placements, Ms. Anita Verma, Ms. Kalpana Negi, these are all the students which are being placed by the department. Now let's move on to the School of Arts and Humanities. Let's play the introductory video of the school first. <laughs> So in this school, we offer the mainly in yoga sciences, diploma and performing arts in, uh, sorry, performing theater arts. So in yoga sciences, what is the key USP of yoga sciences course? You can go through this slide and you can see the key USPs of yoga sciences course. Further, if you are doing diploma in performing theater, these are the key USPs.
Now let's move on to the next school. And the next school is fashion designing and school. So let's play the video first. Uh, sorry, in the video, you have already seen all the things about the fashion designing department. So this is about the school. This school is actually located in the lap of nature and uh, doing his work according to the international standards. So this is why you are going to learn designing from AP Goel Shimla University School of Design. Advanced technology machine laboratories we have. We have industrial internships. We have 100% placement assistance. We have experienced and well-qualified faculty. We are associated with national and international level fashion shows. Industrial trips are on regular basis. We are have great environment in the lab of nature. We always focus on workshops and exhibitions. So these are the career opportunities in the department. A person can open his fashion house. He can be a fashion coordinator. He, uh, he can be a product development manager. He or she can be a fashion buyer, a quality control manager, a fashion photographer, design critics, et cetera. These are our placement partners, Tommy Hilfiger. We have placed our students. In Calvin Clean, we have placed our students in Madame, in Gemini, and Johnny, we again have placed our students. These are the courses offered, fashion designing, three years course, product design, four year course, interior design, fashion design, and product design. This is the social responsibility that is being played by the students of our university. And this is a small message from the NSS volunteers of AP Goel Shimla University. Karam, I am from Afghanistan. My name is Jahan I am from Afghanistan. Sir, as you, as you all know that we are a member of NSS in, since uh, the, the program has been started in university. So we have done and we have contributed and we have learned lots of things in, in this scheme and uh, which, which make us a real global villager. And uh, we, we have learned lots of things in, in, in the, uh, and we want to be a, a boundaryless human being. تقریباً دو سال ہوئے ہیں ہم ان ایس ایس کے ساتھ کام کر رہے ہیں اور اس کے انڈر گائڈ لینس ہے ہم نے اس سے بہت کچھ سیکھ لیا ہے اور بہت اچھا لگا ہے کہ ان ایس ایس کے ساتھ کام کیا ہے This is the feedback video uh, during the pandemic when each and every in, uh, sorry university was mainly uh, not able to contribute as a uh, in academics and the teaching learning was very difficult at the time of pandemic. Our university was focused on online learning and uh, this is the feedback of our university from our students. 
Hello everybody. I am Danish Majid. But this is English it was today. I am Neha. My name is Eva Sitoro. I am My name is Prerna. My name is Rigvin. This is Najibullah Jami from Afghanistan and this is Kamal Natigo, student of the law department for the semester from Ibegoya Shimla University. As per the instruction of the World Health Organization, the best way to fight with COVID-19 is simply to stay at home and keep social distance. As we are all aware of the arising COVID-19 pandemic, which has imposed lockdown across the country, lockdown which has affected our academic session. Most of the educational institutions have stopped their academic session, but our university has taken this great initiative to continue our classes through an online portal called Edich. Edich is a platform that was introduced to us by our school, where we have interactions with our teachers. where we can submit our assignments we can have our tests we can ask any questions all in one platform where we can uh, study where we can write our assignments where we can submit them and due to which our syllabus isn't being hampered we also had online exams which was conducted with the help of edich and i've been able to do all this on my phone this we would like to thank honorable vice chancellor sir the management team and all the faculty members for continuing our classes online Please maintain a social distance. Stay at home. Stay safe. We can defeat this deadly virus. Thank you. And uh, this is all from my side. Uh, thank you, Dr. Anjali. And. Uh, Now I will request uh, Dr. Anjali to please uh, take over the session. Thank, thank you so much, sir, for taking us such a great tour of APG Shimla University. Also, students, uh, it will be very beneficial for students also. Uh, definitely, uh, it the, your PPT definitely make them understand about the different courses. different departments different labs and uh, infrastructure of apg shimla university thank you so much sir and uh, dear students thank you for joining us uh, in this second day of orientation program for the academic session 2020 2021 definitely we will look forward for your presence tomorrow also uh, there will be a guest lecture uh, tomorrow so i request all students to be present uh, in tomorrow's lecture also so once again i would like to thank all technical staff over here respected vice chancellor sir uh, dr kamal kashyap sir and all deans and uh, hods of various departments for their cooperation and motivation and thank you students uh, definitely tomorrow also i shall look forward for your presence thank you so much and have a great thank you, you ma'am thank you all